Good evening. Welcome to Footprints Counselling Service, Interesting Talks, Part 2. Today we've decided to do it in the garden. Had a few problems with sound. Hopefully this time you can hear me speak. So to begin with, if you like this video, share it with your friends and your family. Leave a comment in the comments box. If you want me to talk about some other issues, do let me know and I'll do my best to research them and come up with an outstanding video for you to watch and listen to. Again, share with your friends and family, give me some likes and subscribe to my channel. This talk is about you and who you are and how important you are to yourself. So I would start it off by saying, be the author of your own book. Be the star of your own movie because nobody else can do it for you. So if you write a book about yourself, you're gonna make yourself look good. In your life, you need to do the same. If you have a movie about yourself, you're going to be the star of that movie, especially if you're the director, which you are, the director of the book of your life, the director of the film of your life. They're one and the same. Now, we make a lot of effort <clears throat> to get up in the morning, to go to work, to be on time, to be productive at work and to keep our job, to hold our job down. Most people really, really try hard at that. But what they don't try hard at is entertaining themselves, looking after themselves, having a social life, going to the gym, going for a walk in the countryside, going for a walk in the park. We are nat natural people. We're supposed to be in green environments for, for relaxation. It does relax yourself. It does relax your psyche. So you can make an effort doing that. Second things you could do, you could join clubs that you find interesting from chess. I do volleyball. Some people like football netball, you name it, they're out there to be done. You go on the internet and look for what you like in the area where you live, you'll find it, especially in the United Kingdom. So these are things you can do. Don't just think about work, work, work. Come home, watch EastEnders, Coronation Street, Holly Hoax, and at the moment, Love Island. You know, they're, they're interesting things to do, but they don't actually get you into contact with other people, which is what we're about. We are people, we talk, we like talking, we like inter interacting with each other. It helps relieve, alleviate stress, it brings enjoyment, it brings comfort and companionship. You know, nobody really wants to be alone. No, you, you know. And to add to all of this, life is not a dress rehearsal. You don't get a second chance on, on any Tuesday. Once that Tuesday is gone, you never see another one of the same date and time. So what I'm emphasizing here is time is extremely precious. You have to make the most of every day, every hour, every minute. I won't go as far as every second, but you know, you get my point. Life is not a dress rehearsal. Once you start from the age of about five, making your own decisions, every decision after that is based on a decision you made before that. <clears throat> so if you can become aware of the decisions that you're making and the implications that it will have on your life, surely you'll make better decisions. Yeah, that's my emphasis on that point. Again, people in 1929, to 1939 in the United States of America, you know, they went through a great repression. It lasted for 10 years. <clears throat> Many people had nothing. Many people committed suicide. When this came to an end, there was a survey done on finding out how people had coped through the recession and what they'd done to survive. And a lot of the people came up with the story that their social network had kept them alive, had kept them ticking over, borrowing a dollar from Peter, borrowing a dollar from John and giving a dollar back to John, swapping food, sharing stories, horror stories, giving each other encouragement. That is what the human race is about. You need a social life. We all need a social life. It doesn't matter if you're a millionaire. If you've got no friends, <clears throat> you're alone. And you, you know, there's only so many cars you can buy, so many houses you can buy, and you'll be bored. You'll be unhappy. You'll be lonely. You will need people around you. I know somebody who won a million quid on Lucky Dip. You know, he's got more money than he ever expected to have, but he certainly hasn't got more time than he ever expected to have. So the key thing is, time is very important. Your social life is important. Working and paying the bills, they take care of themselves, they're there. You put a lot of effort into that. So make sure you put a lot of effort into entertaining yourself, into enjoying yourself, into spending time with your loved ones, your friends, your family, even acquaintances. You don't have to be close to somebody to enjoy a game of basketball with them or a game of volleyball with them. It can be done. You can do it. Moving on. Going back 
to the beginning of when we were hu hu as humans on the planet, we were hunter-gatherers. We were on the savannas of a in Africa. And the reason we were able to stay and conquer the situation that we were in is because we worked in tribes, we worked in groups, we hunted together, we fought together, we lived together, we interbred and survived. Then we moved out of Africa, we've been every possible conceivable part that anybody can live on the earth and we're still there now. So it's not just a case of feeling happy, it's a basic fundamental need of survival. You need your social network, you need your tribe, you need your people, you need your family. All right, I know we can't get on with everybody and that's quite apparent to anybody. And I'll deal with that <clears throat> in a later video, how to get you know, energy vampires out of your life. But on the whole, most people, you, give the, you, show, you put your best foot forward, you smile at somebody, they are, are gonna reciprocate with a smile back. You could look up my posts on body language on my website, it's totally free talks a lot about body language, what we portray and what others portray to us. And if we give a positive body language, we get positive responses, nine times out of 10. Moving on, we're talking about challenges, not problems, but challenges. That's what I call them, challenges. Every day I have challenges, everybody has challenges. But if you look at them as problems, there will be problems. You will be putting a lot more weight on your solving this situation as a challenge if you have it as a problem. If you have it as a challenge, it's a game. It's a game you can win. It's a game of chess. It's a game of draft. It's a game of poker. It's a bit of fun. There's excitement involved. It's not woe, woe me, woe me, why me, everything is going wrong. No, that's what we don't want. We want to be challenged to do things, to help us to grow, to help us to become better individuals. That's what we can do. So don't look at life as problems, a bunch of problems. Look at it as a bunch of challenges that you have the resources to solve by yourself or with the help of other people helping you, giving you advice. So again, to conclude, if you like this video, if you find any of it useful, share it with your friends. Leave me messages letting me know what you think of it. Also, subscribe to my channel. And if you've got ideas that you think that you'd like me to discuss with you or to explore with you, let me know. So until the next time, this is the second version of Interesting Talks with Footprints Counseling Service. My name is Yinka Bakari. I'm very grateful that you spent time to listen to me and hear my take on life. And see you next time. Take care.